All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to say thanks to all the new subscribers and let's get straight into this video. So uh, the, today's topic, I just want to discuss why are people having a hard time finding jobs in this market, uh, especially in tech? I know you guys have heard of layoffs and you've heard of like people struggling to find jobs, but what's the root cause of this? What's the main reason people are struggling to find jobs? Because I don't know if you've been told, but everyone keeps saying, oh, this is a wonderful time to get into tech. Tech is the best market to absolutely get into. But um, almost anyone can tell you they have a friend or they themselves are struggling to find work in tech. So what's the what's what's going what's behind the scenes? So um, there's a couple of things. Uh, first things first is tech um, is, has opened to basically anyone now. So previously, you probably needed a degree. You need there, 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 before they had it, there was reasons why people weren't able to get in. Uh, you need a degree. Right. And that's a big gatekeeper uh, without a degree. You wouldn't be able to get in. So in this other fields, uh, like for example, most electrical engineers, civil engineers, you need a degree to get in. So once you actually have that degree, um, you know, getting a job is quite easy. And at that point, you really shouldn't struggle. But with tech, um, you got people joining boot camps. You got people with uh, with no degrees who are just self study. You got people from outside the U.S. coming in. So you have people coming in from all different areas into tech, and it's created this big bubble. Um, and back in 2021, there was a time where, if you guys don't remember, 2021 was an interesting year because obviously we had the pandemic in 2020. And then once it reached 2021, um, with all the money that, with all the low interest rates that were going on, all the companies decided um, it's probably a good idea to start hiring people. So they ended up just hiring anyone and everyone. And it was very easy at that time to get a position. I'll be very honest. It, it, it was, you know, you can just walk in, barely know anything about coding, barely know anything about data engineering. You can just walk in and get a job like it, it was much easier back then in that time because they just wanted to hire more people and the reason they do that is especially with bigger tech companies is if if they they show their um, if they show their like their shareholders that hey we just hired like you know thousands of engineers today uh or, or this month it's gonna increase the shareholder value uh, the stock value of the company because it shows quote-unquote growth but there really isn't growth in the company it's just that they just added more employees um, at that time and it just shows potential growth and that's all that's all that's all the stock market really cares is just uh, what they see in the future and when they see more people can hire they can um, you know assume that the company is doing well um, but in reality they're just using um, cheap debt to get those employees which ended up backfiring so back in uh, so now in 2022 uh, going on to 2023 you guys remember this is where the huge amount of tech layoffs happened many people were getting laid off left and right um, and most of those layoffs were I'll be honest, we're lower level engineers, although there were some senior engineers that were getting laid off. And at that time, people were struggling to find work. It was almost impossible to find jobs at that time. And going back on to 2023, going to 2024 now, it's, you know, the market really hasn't came back, back to those 2021 levels. And it's, it's really been tough to find jobs and people have been struggling. But the main thing that people don't understand is they are, you know, you first have to understand where do you stand in the market? That's the main thing. If you're, if you're struggling to find work, where do you stand in the market? Do you have the skills? You have to ask this question. Like, do you truly have the skills? Yes or no. And do you have the experience? That's all they care about this market. Um, and it's, it's, it's basically been like that. And a lot of people are struggling, but, um, the best way to go about this is to always keep learning, always keep learning. Um, the tech market will eventually rebound. Things will get better, but you should always keep learning skills no matter what, even if you already have a job, no matter what you do is you got to keep on learning and learning and learning. And that's the thing with tech. When you guys get into tech, it's not just, you know, you get in, once you're finally in, you're good to go. No, it's nothing like that. Because tech has always been changing. If you go back 20 years ago, it's nothing like what it was today. So if you had the skills from 20 years ago, you'd be irrelevant in this market. Absolutely no one would hire you. Um, but you have to keep learning. You have to keep um, learning new skills like AI is coming. I don't want to scare you guys with AI. AI is, you know, a beautiful tool that's going to be wonderful and will be useful all over the world. Um, but you're still going to have to learn these kind of skills because eventually, you know, may, maybe AI will take certain aspects of the position away from you guys. And that's, I'm being completely honest. So, um, you know, the market is not looking good right now and a lot of people are struggling. But the the thing is, as long as you're, you, you learn more skills and you make yourself marketable, um, you'll be fine in this market. You'll be totally fine. There's There's tons of jobs out there there's actually more than I, you know, more than you think. And the in the way I see it is you only need one job to hire you. So if you guys are still looking for work, you guys are still struggling, just understand that you only need one job. 
you only need one job to say yes i'll, I'll hire you so it, that's just 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 um you know have faith, faith in yourself and go from there so um you know guys it's the market is it is what it is it's a monster right it's it's you know it, markets goes and goes in uh waves right things get bad things get better things get bad things get better so uh we're right now we're in a downturn but there still is work to do um and as long as you're learning more new skills and you're making yourself marketable um you guys are going to kill this market and you shouldn't have any worries at all so yeah with that being said guys um thank you guys for tuning in actually i, I might go ahead and um maybe show you guys some of the stuff that i see on like linkedin and maybe some some posts and we can kind of go over that and see like how people are struggling but um yeah thank you guys all right guys welcome back um i just want to kind of go over what you know how the market's going and like what kind of how many jobs are out there and we can just start from here so uh let's just go with the the big the big boy right let's go with software engineers and you can just see there's 146,000 jobs which is an absolutely ridiculous amount of jobs right you guys might see that and say, wow, there's, there's so many jobs I can, you know, and this is within the U.S., by the way, remote and um, in, in, in office. But you might see that and say, wow, there's so many jobs. Like, you know, why are people still struggling? But there's way, 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 way more people trying to be software engineers than there is people actually like as there as there is as there is jobs to fill. Right. So um, it's it's a very difficult field to break into at this point because you I mean you got people coming in from boot camps, you got people coming in as self study, you got the the CS grads coming in, so you got people coming in from every angle trying to break into to software engineers, software engineering, and it's just it's it's becoming much more difficult to break into. Um, it's it's becoming I wouldn't say it's oversaturated, but it's getting close to that point with uh, with newer engineers. There's a lot of I would say newer engineers that are that are trying to break into this field, and it's uh it's very tough for them because obviously the coding interviews are difficult, they don't have no experience and I mean, it just seems like it's 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 a tough field to get into. But um, you could just see here, 100 applicants. Uh, next one, 100 applicants. Next one, 100 applicants. Right, like 100 applicants. Let's see this one. 100 applicants in one day. In one day, you got 100 applicants. Absolute nuts. So this field, um, it's it definitely definitely run its course. I wouldn't, but it's you know, it's the market's always going to shift. Like it's. Eventually, at this point, it's there's just more software engineers than there is jobs. Okay, um, but uh, when it comes to network engineering, I mean, look, 26 applications, right? Um, let's see this one, 57 applications. This one, seven applications, right? So there, there, there's much more positions available for network engineers. It's, it seems like a very low key field, very uh, undersaturated at this point. Um, not that many people even talk about it or even know about network network engineering. So. Uh, it's a very it's a, it's a much much different field than software but it's it's a fun field to get into and that's the, that's what i do and i really enjoy it um so if you guys are interested i'll be making more content about network engineering but yeah uh let's just let's just see you know let's look at cloud cloud as well not as bad as you can see i mean you can't really go based off this like it's very difficult to tell because obviously when you go back to software um you can see like it says over 100 but it could be 500 600 700 applications that that people have sent so it's it's definitely a lot and and the thing the thing with software it has a lot of appeal right you can work from home you can work from anywhere in the world you get paid a you know a quite decent salary i mean everyone wants to get into it it seems like a really cool field to get into i mean like you're working with applications you know you're building software you're building product um, it seems like a cool vibe. You see all those videos of people like at home, like those quote unquote vlogs where they're just eating, drinking coffee and eating snacks and just working like for an hour a day. Those people kind of ruin it, ain't gonna lie. But um, that's just how the market is right now. It's, it's, it's filled with software engineers. So guys, there's more, more, there's different fields in IT besides software. So don't, don't be so like headstrong on like, I'm going to be a software engineer because that's what everyone else is thinking. So look into other fields, look into data engineering, look into cloud, look into software, look into network, look into everything, and then make a decision off that. Um, but uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I just wanted to kind of just go over this real quick and just show you how the market is when it comes to software engineering. But in terms of like the layoffs and everything like that, um, the market's just gonna rebound eventually. Um, it's, it's gonna, it, you know, with 2021, obviously we had that big, big market shift where everyone was getting hired and now they laid off those same people. So um, like I said, guys, just keep learning. Keep practicing. Keep making yourself more marketable. Um, you know, have a LinkedIn. Make, make it more presentable. Update your resume as much as possible. Build more projects. Uh, send more applications. Build more connections. That's what matters more. You know, don't be the person who just sends applications and hopes and prays that they get an offer. Uh, nowadays, you have to be more creative. You have to, you know, do things differently. You have to kind of know someone in the industry, like know someone who works at that specific position. And I'll give you some. I'll make some more videos on how to like do that. 
um, later on. But uh, with that being said, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I'll be making some more videos, and uh, peace.